The search for people on the front lines who battled coronavirus and won. This is News 6 at 11. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gadsden, in for Lisa Bell. Starting tomorrow morning, the state of Florida will offer coronavirus antibody testing for first responders. News 6's Eric Sandoval is live at the Orange County Convention Center tonight where they are setting up. So, Eric, how is this going to work? Well, I'll show you, Lisa, uh, I'll show you, Ginger. Uh, first responders just need to drive up in their car and they need to show their credentials. At that point, they stick their arm out their driver's side window, give a small amount of blood, and they get their results in just about 20 minutes. Now, the health officials out here say knowing if you have the antibody is important, but it's especially important for first responders. So if you're asymptomatic, you could potentially be exposing people and not know. And that is one reason why first responders are being urged to come to the Orange County Convention Center to get tested for the coronavirus antibody. Health officials say a positive result shows your body's already been exposed to COVID-19 and fought it. That could be police officers, firefighters, if you work in a hospital, if you're a physical therapist, etc. Those would all qualify. Lauren Luna with Orange County Fire Rescue says many of those first responders could have been exposed to COVID-19 before it made headlines. When you think about it, their protocols for that full PPE didn't really start until um, they started seeing the patients and the news came out about it. So they had months of where they could have been exposed not knowing it. The state of Florida has secured 200,000 of these antibody tests. Luna says the ones that will be administered at the Orange County Convention Center will be done in tandem with the COVID-19 testing happening. She says first responders will just need to show their ID and request it and they'll get both tests. I feel that they're a population that's going to donate plasma if they have those antibodies. So it's a dual purpose and it's a wonderful thing. Now back out here live, these tests are going to be limited to 80 per day and they are on a first come first serve basis. This testing site actually opens at nine o'clock tomorrow morning and it'll continue to be open as long as it needs to be. We are live at the Orange County Convention Center tonight. Eric Sandoval getting results. News 6, back to you. Eric, thank you.